Let's talk for a couple of minutes about can you own a firearm if your spouse or significant other is a convicted felon? This is a really common question I get here at Washington Gun Law, which is, hey, my spouse, my significant other is a convicted felon, but I'd like to have a firearm for my own protection. Now, we know under RCW 9.41.040 that if we've previously been convicted of a felony or a domestic violence offense, our Second Amendment rights will be taken from us for a period of time and will not automatically be given back to us. They will only be given back to us if we properly petition the court for restoration of those rights. We also know under the same statute, 941.040, that if we are found in possession of a firearm while we are a convicted felon without restoring our rights, we face significant, significant trouble. Now, what about the situation where one spouse is the convicted felon, thus they've lost their Second Amendment rights, the other one is a perfectly lawfully abiding citizen? What then of that situation? Well, the truth of the matter is, is that while a superior court may have stripped one person of their Second Amendment rights, they have not stripped the other person. So is there anything unlawful about you as the spouse of a convicted felon for possessing a firearm? No, there is nothing unlawful about that. But, and this is where we need to understand what you have the right to do versus what is doing the right thing. Please understand that there is significant liability that comes with you being the possessor or owner of a firearm if your cohabitant happens to be a convicted felon. For example, do they have access to the firearm whatsoever? Is it kept in a safe that only you can access? What other security measures have you put in place? The reason I bring this to your attention, and this is what you need to be aware of, is that under RCW 9.41.045, there are some very specific rules about convicted felons being in possession of firearms. That statute reads, A sentence, condition, and requirement offenders under the supervision of the Department of Corrections pursuant to Chapter 9.94a shall not own, use, or possess firearms or ammunition in addition to any penalty imposed pursuant to 941.040 when applicable, offenders found to be in actual or constructive possession of firearms or ammunition shall be subject to the appropriate violation process and sanctions as provided for, and then it lists several statutes. And by the way, the sanctions include up to 60 days violation. Now, what's the key term in here? The key term in here is constructive possession because to be in actual possession, you, it means exactly what it says. You have to actually physically have possession. However, if Department of Corrections were to believe that your spouse had dominion or control or access or authority to access that firearm, they could be in significant trouble. And if they believed you were complicit in it, you too could be in trouble for providing a firearm to an ineligible person. Listen, for a more thorough discussion about restoration of gun rights, check out our series of videos here on this channel. My name is William Kirk. I'm the president of Washington Gun Law, and you have been watching Bullet Points.